So what I'm doing with this video is sharing with you at the end how I created this module. All it is is a bedroom with a closet, a window, and a door. This is a module that I would typically use, let's say, in a house design. But what I wanted to show here is how I took this into 3D and then how I can dimension this using Grasshopper. So that's what I'll be showing is taking this into Grasshopper to create the dimensions without having to dimension it kind of like I did here. We'll do it fully parametric. So what I've done here is once I had it drafted, then I created it here in 3D. But now I can hide all of the 2D drawing, which is basically the drafting portion. And now I can take this, I'll go here into Grasshopper, go to a VREP. This is an empty VREP component, which means that we can set any of our Rhino geometry into it. So we'll select this. We'll go here into BREP, right click, set multiple BREPs. And as soon as it turns green, when you select it, we know that we brought it into Grasshopper. So we can take all of this and hide it and see that we basically brought this module into Grasshopper. Now here's a tip that you may not know. If you want this module always inside of this, not necessarily referencing it, you can internalize data. So you can go here to internalize data and it will actually, let me show you here. So I'll copy this. I'll go here to internalize data. And now we can type in show and take this and delete it. And this is going to now be empty, but this has all the data that we had before we deleted it inside of this BREP. And this is one way that we can bring in geometry from Rhino into Grasshopper and technically bake it into Grasshopper without having a reference. So with this, this is just a simple trick where you can take this module and you can leave it here fully parametric or let's go here to show this is more than anything or undo more than anything showing you a tip when you bring something into grasshopper that you always want to keep that without referencing so we can take this and just delete it now let's get into the idea for the tutorial so now that we have this now we're going to dimension it now to dimension this, we need the curves or the line segments, and we don't have any arches or arcs or splines or non-linear lines, which means it'll make it a lot easier. Not that you couldn't do it if you have that, you just take a different approach. With this, we'll go here to BREP, select it. Now let's go to deconstruct BREP, and now we don't necessarily have to use this component, there are other ones, but this will explode all of that information into faces, edges, and vertices, because that's all this is. These are just points, planes, lines that create this geometry. Well, now we've technically here, using deconstruct BREP, we're going to explode it. Now we can pick any of those faces, edges, and vertices, and we can go to list item to pick a specific one. Either one of the vertices, this one, Let's go here to 15 so we can go and change through the points now here it's dashed line which means that it's grafted if we flatten the input we can just pick one of them and cycle through them using this slider we can do the same thing with the faces or with the edges which is what we'll be doing every single one of the line segments that exist within this model can be selected and same with the faces so we can actually get an area of each face so with this being said we're going to take the edges which are the line segments we're going to extract them using an empty curve component because when we use deconstruct view ref we have all the faces edges and vertices all in this component and now we just want to extract the edges and disable the preview on everything else and so now that we have all the line segments, well, all we need to do is plug this curve output into a dimension or line dimension. So we'll take those curves into the line dimension. And now we need to change the size and also flatten the input. 
So you see that they come in dashed, which means that they are grafted. You can flatten it to make sure that it's all in one long list. And now here, we'll change the size. We'll go to 5.500. So we have a few decimal points to make it more subtle. And so now here, we have all of the dimensions for the entire bedroom. In some instances, we do have them a little bit overlapping because places like the door, it may not be necessarily what we need. But here we have every single bit of the entire room dimensioned. And this is critical for someone that, let's say, is building this. They could have every single dimension here and they can reference it this way. You can also go to top view. And this way you can see that in the floor plan view, we have if some issues where maybe it's not as relevant and some issues here where maybe we have overlapping information. And what it is is that this line segment is both at the top and at the bottom. So sometimes, we can also, let's say, if we brought back the 2D lines, we can just select those and dimension those line segments. So we're not necessarily stuck with the 3D, but the 3D will give us the wall heights, the height from for this window. The one thing that maybe it won't have is how far this window is from the ground, and that's critical. Also, how far the top part is to the ground. That's going to be the head height, and this is going to be like egress requirements. So with this, you're able to see how you can dimension an entire floor plan just using the information that you have and using deconstruct BRAP, which will extract all of your curves. And then you can plug that into a line dimension and then change the size depending on what part you want. So at this point, now that we have the dimensions, let me show you another trick. That this is more for diagramming. So if we take this, disable the preview, we'll bring back the line work. And if we take these curves and we go here to extend curve, we have the ability to take this curve and extend it by a certain amount. So we'll go to 1.5 for the start and end. And so now this gives it um, overlapping look here to all of your line work here. So we can take this, middle click, bake, and we can bring this information out here to create a diagram, let's say, to show kind of a bedroom or something like this for it to be more wireframe and for it to have the intersecting lines. So those are a few tricks here that I want to share at the end. The most critical thing is going to be for the dimensions. It's going to save you a bit of time um, to show the exact accurate dimensions of whatever design you have. So thank you very much for being here. Hopefully you found that useful. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope to see you on the next one.
If you'd like to get a hold of the script and more resources, check out my website, goodpettydavid.com. When you become a Script Vault member, you can access all of the scripts from the past and future scripts. So thank you very much for being here. Hopefully you found this useful, and I hope to see you on the next one.